Hey guys, this is Three Boar Bros. We're gonna be, today we're going to be doing a video of Blokus by Mattel Games, and it is a seven plus age of seven plus game. It is two through four players in a thirty minute. It's about thirty minute play time, um, depending on how quickly you decide on what to move um, or how to move. So let's open it up. That's pretty much the outline of it, the game. Now these pieces in here are not pieces. Do not pull the plastic off to try to get these plastic pieces. Mistakenly, he did that. <laughs> Excellent. Yeah. Okay. So inside you have these four different bags of pieces. So you have yellow, green, red, red. blue. So those are the pieces that come in. So we're going to just slide yellow over to the side. I'm going to play as green, Gabriel's going to play as red, and Grant's going to play as bluey purple. Now this is the instruction manual. That's what also comes in. Of course you have the board, which comes with every board game. I don't know if this is a considered a board game. Probably is. So you have the board. It is pretty much, I don't know, like a chessboard sort of. It has like indentions, grooves, whatever. It, it's a board. So, let's see, how many pieces do we have? One, two, three, four, five. What? You have 20 pieces each bag. So, 20 pieces each bag of um, blocus pieces. So, let's see. So, the point of the game is to fill this whole board and try to play all your pieces in. Um, now once you're, you're gonna have to, how you start is you have, you play a piece in your corner. So each person gets a corner of the board. So, for instance, if I was gonna play this piece, I have to have this little corner here touching that. You always have to have a piece inside this very corner, um, square. You always have to have another square from your piece in there. Now you're probably gonna want to play the bigger pieces first, because... It's harder to play bigger pieces than it is to play smaller pieces when you have teeny spots. Or, yeah. And also in the extended or harder, advanced. what, advanced yeah. version, you're going to have to count the squares on your pieces to see how much points you minus out of the points on the board. That's basic, too. That's basic, okay, whatever, whatever, whatever. We're explaining the game, anyway. So, I guess we'll get started and show you how to play, mostly. So since there's only three players, or three of us playing, um, and the yellow pieces are left over, we're actually going to still use those in our game. So, as, so I, if I was to play, so, so I'm going to play first. So if I was to play this piece here, then when it comes to the yellow player's turn, I play a piece over in his corner. So I'll just play the same piece over there. So that's what would happen. Since I played first, I will play as a yellow player first. And then, next would be Graydon's turn. So on Graydon's turn, once he plays, once the, yellow turn person, once the yellow player's turn comes back around, he would play another yellow piece. And so on and so on and so on. Until the yellow pieces, pieces are all gone, or you, you lose, or whatever. So, yeah, let's show you how to play. So, I guess I'm going first, yeah. So as my first play, I'm going to play the same piece that I've been playing there recently. So now, Graydon. You're gonna play what is it? a square thing and Gabriel? Dude, yellow. Yeah. What? Oh, yeah, yeah, yellow, sorry. Okay, and now the yellow player's turn. What piece am I gonna play for him? I'm gonna play that piece just to make a variety. And Gabriel plays a another piece. And back to my turn. Now, something that we may not have said that's very important about when you play your pieces is that you can't play them like this. They cannot, sides cannot be touching each other. So I cannot play it like this. I can't play it like this. I can't play it where any sides are touching it. Only corners can touch pieces. So only, they, they can only touch, only corners can touch your own pieces. But I could play a piece like that on Graydon's color because it's not my color. I could play it on that. So I can only play on corner. I can only play my pieces have to connect to somebody else's to my own corner, but they can't touch any other parts of the piece. And but 
of my pieces. But for other players' pieces, I can touch other parts besides corners. Okay? So, my turn, and let's see. I guess I'll just play... I'm going to play that piece right there. Mm -hmm. I'll play that Great. Okay. My turn. Um, yeah. Okay. Give us turn for yellow. So we have all taken turns playing as the yellow pieces. And also you may, you probably want to get your bigger and more awkward pieces onto the board first so you don't get stuck with them at the end. And you also want all your pieces, you also want your pieces, they have to be connecting by corners at all times. Like you can't place a piece all the way over here when your other pieces are over here. They have to connect all the way over if you want to do that. Um, so now we're going to play the game and show you how it would end and how you would count points and stuff. So, yeah, we'll time lapse this. Okay, so during that time lapse, um, Yellow ran out of pieces and, or I mean, Yellow didn't have anywhere else to play his pieces because he only has big pieces left and the, left and there was no slots left for his big pieces. The same thing happened to me. I have too many big pieces and I couldn't play them anywhere on the board. So we both just stopped playing and Gabriel and Graydon continued to play. And so I ended up with two pieces left and that totaled to 10 points. You count the little squares on the thing to tell how many points that is. I had 24 points, Gabriel had 10 points, and Graydon had nine, nine points. So Graydon is the winner. Yeah. So I counted each of these little squares on my pe leftover pieces that I didn't play on the board, and since I had the least, I win. Okay, so if you guys want to check out this game, we're going to have the link below. So please check that out if you like this game, want to play it. This is obviously, the yellow player will obviously be somebody most of the time. We usually play with one of our um, parents. And... So yeah, thanks guys for watching. Please like, subscribe, and comment. We'll see you next time on 3 Board Bros.